Hello friends, welcome to today's session. Today's session, we are going to discuss about yaws. So, uh, we need to know what is yaws. Yaws is a bacterial infection that infects skin, bone, cartilage, etc. And uh, the disease being uh, begins with the swelling of skin and if left untreated for a long time, it might lead to ulcer. And then we uh, need to know the symptoms which includes uh, swelling, skin, painful bones, fatigue, scars, etc. And uh, then comes uh, the transmitting agent uh, that is important from prelims perspective. So it is spread by direct contact with the fluid from the infected patient that is uh, the uh, skin to skin contact. Hence it is most common in children uh, who get infected while playing together. Now, what are the methods of uh, diagnosis? There are several methods. We uh, need not know about all of them, but the most accurate method of all of uh, among all of them is the polymerase chain reaction, that is the PCR. Then comes the treatment part. So, in treatment part, uh, we need to know that a single intermuscular injection of penicillin, erythromycin, or tetracycline tablets are uh, useful, and if uh, it it's not treated properly or uh, left untreated for a long time then it can uh, be lasting for the entire life or at least for a longer period of time now uh, this is all about uh, yours from the uh, biological perspective that we should remember then uh, we must focus on the initiatives taken by the government of india so they are uh, mass campaigning uh, and with assistance of uh, World Health Organization and UNICEF and then yours eradication program by government of India which is uh, expanded to co cover all 11 yours uh, endemic states of the country and then setting up of high level uh, national task force under chairmanship of uh, DGHS for undertaking periodic reviews and monitoring the progress of implementation and uh, Again, there are uh, two important facts which we uh, must remember for solving the uh, MCQs. That is, it is common in tropical countries. So, yours is a disease which is very common in the tropical countries. And uh, why it was in news recently? Because the World Health Organization has certified it, uh, that is uh, India, yours free. Uh, becoming the first country under the 2012 World Health Organization's neglected tropical disease roadmap to eliminate yours. So uh, that's all what we uh, should remember about yours. That is what is yours, its symptoms, transmitting agents, methods of diagnosis, treatment, initiatives taken by the government and the uh, last two facts that I have told you. So that's all from today. Thank you and have a nice day.